Wow, who's done boot camp before? Well, cool, all right, so we got a couple returnees. All right, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Uh, as Lizzie said, my name is Mike Aiello. I'm a show director here uh, for Universal Orlando, uh, specifically Halloween Horror Nights. I'm on the team that creates the entire event. Um, that uh, If you guys haven't been to the event yet, that you'll see. Uh, if you have, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but tonight is boot camp, and this has been around for a little while now. Um, if you don't know about the event this year, uh, it is 20 years of fear for Halloween Horror Nights. This event's been around for 20 years now. Um, uh, we're very, very proud of that fact. It's, it's successful every year. Um, and this year, we're kind of uh, giving our guests the best, best of both worlds. Uh, we're paying homage to our past with a few houses, uh, a few scare zones. Uh, but ultimately, this event is a brand new uh, event. And that's one thing that, that makes this this project unique in the haunt event realm is that we do change this event every single year from the ground up. Um, nothing is repeated the exact same way. Um, we're really proud of that fact. And, um, um, and specifically for tonight, um, we hire almost a thousand people to uh, actually work this event. And that's whether you're a character or if you're a stage manager or coordinators for the haunted houses or the scare zones. Ultimately, it's almost a thousand people um, that are employed for Halloween Horror Nights. And tonight, you are going to be among those employees. Um, you guys are going to be characters tonight. And this is uh, really cool because if you've been to the event, you've seen it from a guest standpoint. Um, if you've covered the event, you've seen it from a, a media standpoint. But tonight, you're going to actually participate in the event alongside the characters that we've hired. Uh, and I believe tonight, you guys are going to be um, in our zombie gra. So, is that correct? Yeah, you guys are going to be flesh-eating zombies in our zombie gra zone, which is right out the door this way. Um, and uh, it's going to be, you guys are going to have a good time. A uh, couple things I want to I let you guys know of when you guys are playing these zombies tonight. In this zone, I'm a, a, I'm a Romero fan, so there are no fast-moving zombies. We are slow zombies. All right, you can lunge, that's okay, uh, but these are slow zombies. These are classic Romero, Romero zombies here. Um, cause that's, that, that's my love. I'm a huge zombie fan. Um, we've got a scare zone and a house based around zombies this year. Um, zombies are like this year's really cool vampires. <laughs> and last year vampires were really cool. This year it's all about zombies. Uh, and and that, that's, we, we love that in this event. Um, so that's what you guys are going to be doing tonight. We're going to give you makeup. We're going to give you costumes. Um, and uh, we're going to take you through the process of what it takes to be a scare actor. Um, and you guys are going to have a real good time. Uh, who, who said they have done it before? What was your experience like? Exhausting. <laughs> it is. And that's the other thing about the people that, that work this event every year. Um, they are a, an amazing group of people, and a lot of them are returnees. Um, we have people that have worked this event um, many, many years, that have come back year after year just to participate in the event. Um, there's a gentleman who is actually, uh, he's an attorney. He has a, a practice in South Florida. Um, and he uh, comes back every year. He takes a vacation, and this is his vacation to work this event. He leaves his practice to come here and be a character in the event. Um, so they're an amazing group of people. They work their butts off every single night of this event, and it's all because they love Halloween Horror Nights. They love horror, uh, like we all do, because we all start in this place as fans of this event and of horror in general. Um, so they're an amazing, amazing group, and you guys are going to be among them tonight. Um, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad you guys are here to do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the event overall or um, about what you might be doing tonight, I am here to answer those questions. Wow. All right. <laughs> I am good. All right. What makes, it, what makes a good zombie? What makes a good zombie? Wow. I think it's... Um, uh, I think you have to be unique in your character. I think because the one, one cool thing about all zombie films is no zombie is exactly the same. So you've got to find your, your inner zombie, so to speak. And there's a couple ways you can do that. You can, you can kind of, um, like I used to be a character in the event. My first job here, I popped out of a washing machine 85 times, <laughs> you know, in an hour. <laughs> popped out of a washing machine. And, and uh, finding character, your character in the event, is uh, there's one of two ways you can do this that I, that I have found. One, you can kind of preconceive what kind of zombie you might want to be, or if you want, as you guys get your makeup on, let that kind of dictate who, what kind of zombie you might be as you're getting that, that makeup on. For years I was, um, this is totally not Halloween related, but I was, uh, I was the Grinch in Grinchmas for many years in the end of the show that we did at Isles of Adventure. Um, and I, during the rehearsal process we didn't have that makeup on. And um, I found that it was tough for me to try and find the character. It was only until I got those latex appliances on that I truly found 
who this guy was. And that, that's really important. So a lot of you might find as you're getting your airbrushing done or whatever they're going to put on you guys, that you'll find that uh, that character will kind of start coming to life, you know, as it happens in real time. So uh, look for that. that that's, that's the cool part about the process is getting that makeup on and becoming something else entirely. Matt. There are um, three members who have become zombies. So yes. how much do you be a zombie versus still doing what a parade performer would do? Um, I, I, would, I would probably make it 25-75. 75% zombies, 25% parade performer. Um, if, again, if you're a Romero fan, um, think of it like more like Land of the Dead where maybe they remember slightly what they did previously before they return. Um, you can kind of take that, that, that moment. And again, this zone, um, as well as the front half of the zombie, of the, um, the uh, zombie Geddon house, has a little bit of a comedic tone a little bit, especially in the front half of that, half of that house, as well as the, uh, the scares are not here. Some of the characters play a little more comedically. Uh, maybe that's how you draw the people in close to you. Uh, be accessible. Allow them to get near you and then, bam, hit them. I mean, don't hit them really. <laughs> Just, you know, lunge at them. Um, use that. Use use the, the idea of that you were once a parade performer and, and draw them in close. That works very effectively. Uh, like our chainsaw drill team, um, they'll walk around and they'll, they'll start ga gaining a crowd just kind of like, you know, stalking people and they'll start gaining a crowd. Um, that's really effective because the more people you have, once you fire that chainsaw up, you're gone. Use the same philosophy with your zombie. Try and try and get people to want to be near you and then unleash hell on them. Another question. Yeah. A lot of people want to pose for photos with you. Do you totally do okay. Absolutely. For you guys, absolutely okay. I want you guys to get the full experience tonight. A lot of our characters um, in certain zones, we say don't pose um, uh, as much. We do have a couple of zones this year that it specifically is designed to be more of a photo op, especially with our icons and a lot of the characters from the past. Um, we really try and limit a lot of photography in some of the other zones. But for you guys, I want to give you guys the full experience. So if somebody wants to take a picture with you guys while you're out there, absolutely. And then as soon as they're done, scare them. Get them out of there. What else you guys got? Inspiration for the uh, pyro over the lake and its effect on the scare zone. Oh, inspiration for the pyro over the lake? Um, it's because it's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what's, what, what more do you need with a zombie horde than just some kind of explosive fireball? Um, and we've done that. We've done that fireball in the past in that area. We've kind of moved it around the lagoon in some 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 years. Um, it's just cool. Fire's awesome. <laughs> but zombies don't necessarily like fire, so we should all react accordingly. If, uh, yeah, I mean, if, 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 if you choose, if you choose, I think I think you're far far enough away from it that that uh, that you'll you'll be okay. But there are some zombies that that have no no idea of fire. They just walk right into it. You know, they've got no, no idea. But it's cool. <laughs> what else you guys got? So when interacting with guests, um, how close you have to be? Uh, proximity to the guest? Um, uh, you, can get, you can get fairly close to them. We ask that you do not touch the guests because um, it just makes them want to touch you, and you don't want that. You don't want that. So yeah, don't don't touch the guests. Um, and uh, but but you can get you can get pretty close. Um, you'll find your you'll find um, how comfortable you are getting close to the guests as you're out there. Um, but there again, the, the guests that come here, they're ready to be scared. They're ready for it, so um, uh, they want that. They, they want to be scared. So I, I encourage you to, to, to be uh, as intense as you possibly and safely can be. Can we scare you in Spanish? What's that? Can you scare you in Spanish? Absolutely you can. You're a Spanish zombie, sure. Why not? Absolutely. Absolutely. I want you guys to have a good time tonight. So, so yeah, go, go crazy out there. That's, that's what this thing's about. Uh, but, yeah, remember, but, but be safe. Be safe. <laughs> And do we threaten the poor person on the parade float? Which yes, the person on the parade lot? float um, in the zone, there's a, a Mardi Gras float out there. That person has not been turned. He is trying to fend off the zombie horde. So um, if you choose to venture near there, they are they are a potential victim. Okay, so you guys can interact with that character in that manner. Um, uh, but I, I would also, I would, you know, make that another 75-25, because I want you guys to be able to be in that zone with where those guests are walking. Um, cause you know, up near the, the float, they tend to uh, just stand there and kind of watch the, they want the beads. Because that guy throws beads occasionally. Um, so, but I encourage you guys to get in the mix, get into that, that, that area of the zone where the, the guest the flow is, is, is uh, most populated. And then do your thing, do your thing. You guys are gonna have a good time tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I always love when people who've never done character stuff before do it for the first time. Cause you're gonna, 
I, 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 I'll bet you money that when you leave, you're gonna like, oh, I'd really like to do that again. Because it, it's a good time. For one night, you get to do something that you've never done before. And that is scare the daylights out of average people. <laughs> it's awesome. 